Hi, I'm Dr. Nitin Tana, Chief of Breast Imaging for the MRI Group and the Suzanne H. Arnold Center for Breast Health. An MRI-guided breast biopsy is performed when an abnormality is seen by breast MRI but not confirmed by ultrasound or mammography. Just like the breast biopsies performed upstairs at the Suzanne H. Arnold Center for Breast Health using ultrasound or stereotactic guidance, the MRI-guided breast biopsy is a non-surgical procedure. A few days before your MRI-guided breast biopsy, you will receive a call from one of our breast care nurses at the MRI group. She will review your medical history and provide instructions for the day of your biopsy. You will be asked to discontinue any blood thinning medications six days prior to your procedure. After registration, a breast care nurse or breast technologist will escort you to a dressing room where you will change into scrub pants and a gown. A locker is provided for your valuables. The radiologist who will be performing your biopsy will explain the procedure, possible risks and complications, and answer your questions prior to the biopsy. One of our breast care nurses or breast technologists will place an IV in your arm. You will be taken into the MRI room and will be positioned on your stomach with your breasts suspended through an opening in the breast coil, which is the antenna used to generate the images. The breast that is going to be biopsied will be cleaned and then compressed using a special plate that is marked with a grid. Tubing will be connected to your IV. You will be given headphones and a squeeze ball for communication with the technologist. Satellite radio is available if you choose to listen to music. The entire table will slide into the magnet. A technologist will scan for about 10 minutes. During this time, an MRI contrast will be injected through your IV, which will highlight any abnormal tissue in the breast. After all the necessary images are obtained, we will move you out of the magnet while we complete your biopsy plan. Using computer software and MRI images, the radiologist will locate the position of the breast abnormality using the grid. This will help determine the position and depth for the needle placement. This typically takes a bit of time, so it is crucial that you do not move or change your position while the doctor is planning your biopsy. The radiologist will begin by cleaning the skin where the biopsy will be performed and numb the area with a local anesthetic. You will feel a slight pinprick from the anesthesia. The radiologist then inserts a needle and advances it to the area of concern. You may feel some pressure when the needle is inserted, but it should not be painful. Another set of images is obtained to confirm the location of the needle. After confirmation that the needle is in the correct location, small tissue samples are taken using a special vacuum-assisted needle. You may hear a whirring sound during tissue sampling. As tissue is being collected from the area, additional anesthetic is applied to the area of the biopsy to ensure your comfort. It is important to remain still during the entire procedure. Most women do not require IV sedation, but should you receive IV sedation, it is important that you bring someone with you to drive you home. After the samples are collected, a small metallic tissue clip will be placed at the biopsy site to mark the location for future reference. The marker will cause no pain, disfigurement, or harm, and does not interfere with airport metal detectors. One more set of MRI images will be obtained to confirm accurate insertion of the clip. After the biopsy is complete, you will lie on your back and be taken to the nursing recovery area. A nurse will apply pressure to the biopsy site until any bleeding has stopped. The site will be covered with a dressing. Sutures are not necessary. You will be taken directly above the MRI suite to the Suzanne H. Arnold Center for Breast Health for a mammogram to confirm placement of the clip. Your breast will not be compressed as much as during a regular mammogram. After the mammogram, you will return to the MRI suite. A wrap will be placed around your chest 
to keep pressure on your breast. You will wear this wrap home. Do not participate in strenuous activity for 24 hours following your breast biopsy. You may have some bruising and a small lump at your biopsy site. This is normal. You will be scheduled for a follow-up appointment in two to four days when you will receive the results of your biopsy and have your biopsy site checked. This test and the procedure may make you anxious and nervous. I want to reassure you that I have spent a lot of time investigating various MRI systems and dedicated breast coils to ensure your comfort and safety while at the same time getting the most accurate diagnostic breast MRI images using equipment of latest technology. I hope you found this video helpful. If you should have any further comments or feedback about your experience with the MRI group, we would welcome your comments. Contact us at our website, www.mrigroup.com.